Coming to you from the void because the camera <laughs> makes it look like I'm in the middle of some white nothingness right now. Yeah, I'm just making videos about whatever I've missed so far, starting with uh, the Mr. Beast thing with the Lunchables and whatnot. Yeah, I don't usually talk about these kind of things because they're not that impressive, but as uh, a day or two ago, things have gotten a bit too heated, I would say. So basically, it all starts off with Mr. Beast, KSI, and Logan Paul announcing that they're releasing something called Lunchly, which it will be a competitor to Lunchables, and it will have Prime as well as Beastable Chocolates inside of it. Um, yeah, I mean, merch sales by YouTubers and Twitch streamers is nothing new. That's pretty normal. Kind of weird, though. Like, uh, like, I understand, like, selling shirt, action figures, you know, clothing brands and stuff. Whenever they start going into, like, skincare products and, like, I don't know, cookies and stuff, that's, like, okay, was this, like, a side project that you were passionate about? Like, I understand if, um... Gordon Ramsay's came out and said, yeah, I'm making a Lunchables competitor. That makes sense. He's a chef. He he knows what he what he could provide to children. When a YouTuber comes and says, it's like, why? Uh, ooh, what? Uh, clearly, it's just a push prime. That, that drink has way too much compared to like uh, Red Bull or something like that. So I don't know if you want to give that to kids, but then again, most of their audience is kids. But I think the big problem here is uh, the not just me, but like the internet has is that Mr. Beast is openly collabing with uh, a known scammer, someone who has not really changed his ways. I was one of the few who was like kind of happy Logan Paul was changing his ways, but then a lot of controversies came up and uh, he was not really humble about it. He really doubled down in some areas, even like uh, trying to sue back, for example, CoffeeZilla, whenever CoffeeZilla did that piece on him. No, it, it just didn't it didn't feel right. But yeah, that whole redemption arc thing really really aged like milk. It's just the fact that right now both Mr. Beast and Logan Paul are going through I would say a rough period in the PR area, public uh, re reputation. So it's kind of weird that He's been quiet for two months now with everything going on. And then he comes back to just announce a lunch of these. Like, yeah, buy, just buy my merch. Yeah, that does, that's just too corporate, man. But with that out of the way, it then gets pretty bad because there was this tweet by a pretty big YouTuber in the Minecraft community and just YouTube in general. He's been around since like Markiplier, Jacksepticeye. Uh, Dan TDM, which is uh, a good point he makes in his tweet about how what what is with the YouTubers these days just trying to sell things that really aren't in their field to just their children audience who will buy it up because like, again they're children they're they're gonna go after these kind of things and honestly that was valid criticism pretty harmless if you just ignore it and let it be no instead. <laughs> KSI, Logan Paul, and Mr. Beast tag teamed this like it was a WWE match to defend their Lunchly Lunchables competitor. It, it, it came about across very weird when you read these tweets. So of course, Mr. Beast leads the charge with his tweet, which is pretty corporal. It's not as insulting as um, the next two who seem to be like high school bullies in this case. But Mr. Beast goes on about how it's healthy, it's a decent competitor, it has more electrolytes, as if, as if just saying it has more electrolytes somehow makes it better. Like, it, like in that movie Idi Idiocracy where they were like giving plants Gatorade. But Brando's got what plants crave. It's got electrolytes. Okay, look. Because <laughs> it has electrolytes. It's what the plants crave. Yeah, it, it, Prime just does not have it. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. Prime is not a healthy drink for kids to be drinking. I, I, I could tell you that much. Prime, is it good for kids? 
primed energy drink contains excessive amounts of caffeine and should absolutely be avoided in children. One 12 ounce bottle of prime energy has 200. <laughs> <coughs> oh my God. Oh my God. I should not have drank that prime this morning. Oh, my heart, it's palpitating. Oh, this is it. This is my last video. And of course, reading the second part of the tweet, eating fresh chicken and broccoli is healthier, but if someone's going to eat a pre-made meal like this, which millions of people do through Lunchables, then I think giving them a higher quality version at roughly the same price is a net good. Brother, there is no higher quality for Lunchables. That's the one you're going after. If Lunchables is garbage and you come up to me and say, this is slightly less garbage, it's still garbage. You know who's an actual healthier competitor that's beating Lunchables? It's Hillshire Farms and other products that I see at grocery stores. Heck, I even sometimes pick it up because it's actually healthy. They have like almonds, uh, apple slices. It's all healthy. This is not, especially when you're putting feastable chocolates and prime in it. That's there, there is no health there. I'll give credit. Mr. Beast at least try to be civil compared to the next two tweets that are, oh boy, they go straight for the juggler here, huh? But Logan Paul's goes like, I'll tell you what happened to YouTubers. We spent our lives creating content and building our brands. Now we want to build businesses. You don't say anything when Lunchables faces bans for allegedly containing lead, but when we create a better version, you're upset, then don't eat it. Okay, first things first, Lunchables, lead, it is true. Probably enough lead to make a pencil, but yeah, if you were buying Lunchables in the first place for your kids, you weren't doing them a service. But let's get back to the fact that it's coming from Logan Paul, who states that they're going to create a better version. I'm going to be honest, this better version has a dollar store Gatorade attached to it that is not suited for children in the first place, unless they're changing the formula. But I'm going to be honest, they're not. They're, these kind of products are not usually better than the ones that you see in the stores because they're usually banking on their followers to buy it based on their reputation, not because the product is the better version in this case. But then it comes to KSI who comes across as like a Disney challenge bully, which <laughs> his first tweet I saw started off like this. Looks like crap to me showing Dan's normal YouTube merch, toys, action figures, and whatnot, which is perfectly normal because that is not something you need to be an expert in, you know, creating toys. Lunchables, that, that's health-based. That's, that's going to affect the child's health. Th this is just an action figure, man. One of which that <laughs> he's so... He sold, the, he has his own brand within that one as well. So it's not like Dan is making that whole action figure brand by himself. It's like a collab where they use his image to sell the product. Dan just made one criticism and they all just dogpile him. It's the same when Jack Septicai did that lie detector test and he said he didn't like how Mr. Beast was turning YouTube into this like corporate kind of um, environment. And he was right in that sense, but uh, Mr. Beast then dogpiled on him and made a snarky remark on Twitter. It's like, just let it be. Like, you don't have to answer every criticism. When, when you do, it just makes you seem really desperate for having the public on your side. And of course, when KSI was being called out for this post, he doubled down and then tweeted this next one out. So basically he goes on to tweet how Dan was sponsored and promoted and made a video <laughs> featuring Munch Pack, which is basically like a loot box with food and candy towards his audience who are kids because Minecraft. And for starters, uh, the images he's used here, as you can see, is, um, well, it was from a video I remember watching nine years ago, which is probably the same age as the fan base that's probably going to be buying Lunchly, is uh, about him, Dan, trying different foods from around the world. And then going to the Munch Pack thing, YouTubers constantly get sponsored. You know, Shadow Raid Legends, whatever it was called. Um, it's a normal thing. He didn't make this product and try to push it to kids specifically 
focusing on the fact that, hey, I'm Dan, you know me, right? Buy my product. Lunchly is three YouTubers coming together and making a product, hoping that the audience buys that product based on their star power alone, not based on that product. So basically what I'm saying is being sponsored for a one-time thing is different than actually making a product for retail and trying to sell it and affecting children's health in the long term because you're going to consistently be doing it, right? And then you come to the home page and it's, yeah, right in your face. Feastable is prime, Feastable is prime. <laughs> Drink Prime, eat Feastables, and um, this is what they're doing here. Lunchly, leading brand, flavorful combos, standard picks, 400 mg electrolytes, 55. Okay, okay, again with electrolytes. Um, it, it's it's not the biggest thing in the world, man. It, it really isn't, especially when you're saying Prime. Prime is not the not the health competitor you want it to be, man. It, it really isn't. But anyways, moving on. Bold packaging, basic packaging. Big gestures, mid moments. You know what, now that I'm looking at it, it's Prime. It, it's definitely trying to, it's, it's just selling Prime. Like, look at this, per package, per package, Prime. Per package, like every, like these three, are just normal this one specifically has to mention prime flavor in each lunchly pack not per package you could see what the you could see where we're going here huh feisty nachos 360 again electrolytes i could guarantee you they did not need electrolytes category no one drinks capri sun for the electrolytes they drink it because it's just a pick-me-up that it's a good drink to drink I, I just think this was not the time to announce these things because just the very day they announced the lunchly thing the whole mr. beast is being sued by contestants on beast games because of sexual harassment showed up yeah and th that is that's not a not, not a good good look is it like <sighs> I don't know man this is not looking good but yeah to wrap it up the issue isn't that lunchly is being announced the issue is that a mr. beast is teaming up with a known scammer and B he's doing this while he has not acknowledged any of the past controversies such as you know the beast games allegations i was not gonna make a video about this i was just gonna you know scoot by it but when they started like picking on dan i'm like damn like he made a valid criticism just let it go you don't have to fight that battle buddy just let it go if they had let it go not that many people would have seen this tweet because i only know about this tweet is because they started attacking it. it it just goes to show that sometimes you just need to stay quiet let it go let it flow but uh when they started dogpiling on him like that just did not sit right with me it's all right to sell your merch but don't just get so super defensive about it when someone criticizes your merch look at mcdonald's mcdonald's gets like completely stomped on like people make fun of it all the time and yet they're still in business because they don't go around picking fights with every nobody on twitter so all in all it's um just one of those internet things i guess a youtuber twitch streamer comes out sells merch something's wrong with that merch they get called out about that then instead of uh, owning up to that mistake they double down trying to defend the merch the merch collapses they move on to making new merch and the cycle continues it's just gonna keep on happening i guess um yeah there's not much to add here it, the situation is uh just bizarre very bizarre i'll just leave it at that that's all there is